Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Big Boy Sports. Are you here for some indoor football league content? Great, that's great. Um, good, because I'm here to talk about some indoor football league stuff. Let's talk about week two, because we talked about week one yesterday and, and a couple of videos ago. But haven't talked about week two yet, because it hasn't started yet. Now, a couple more teams are kicking off this week, and again, it's the 13-team league structure. That's why it's just so weird as to why, you know, the schedule's looking like it is. Um, but, yeah, some more teams are kicking off this week, and we have uh, the reigning defending two-time consecutive CIF champions who have come over to the IFL this year, the Duke City Gladiators, taking on a new expansion team in the Frisco Fighters. That's on Thursday, March 12th at 7.05 p.m. Central Time. Now, all these times are Central, um, for the most part, um, aside from, you know, the West Coast games. All these times are Central, so very important there. But... Frisco is something that's something of an anomaly along with Duke City. They're something of an anomaly here. You know, both these teams, you know, there's a lot to take away. There's a lot to it, there's a lot that needs to be improved. Obviously Duke City, you know, you know, they got some, they probably got some guys to the back. I haven't really checked out their roster yet, but we'll see on Thursday night what it's looking like. Um, but you know, Duke City has a lot to prove. Can they contend in the IFL or or not? You know, and for Frisco, it's it, Frisco's honestly probably wasn't even supposed to be in this league this year. Probably was not because they got admitted so late. But they're here, and you know, it's gonna be interesting to see. Um, interesting to see what they do. You know, um, for their first ever game, um. And it'll be fun, I guarantee you. Um, then we got a couple games on Saturday night. That's like, Both of these are at 8.05 p.m. Because, you know, West Coasters. Um, but we have the Iowa Barnstormers who have not returned a lot of guys. Um, and Dixie Wooten. Uh, and they're taking on Marshawn Lynch's Oakland Panthers at 8.05. Along with um, Cedar Rapids taking on San Diego at 8.05, so, you know, C Rapids did not look the greatest um, a week ago, but there they are, they're here, up in San Diego, obviously, they ha they struggled a lot against Bismarck, to be completely honest with you, but they got the W anyway against Bismarck, and I think, you know, now that we know what these two teams are, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot that has to go on, because C Rapids just had, just did not have the defense to keep up you know I don't think they have the defense or the offense of firepower you know maybe to keep up with San Diego and honestly you know it, it, it's, it could be another long year for Cedar Rapids I'm not going to lie to you um, maybe San Diego will get this but maybe Cedar Rapids will win who knows we'll, we'll find out very very shortly you know on Saturday night and then on Sunday March 15th there's only one game on Sunday so it'll be Bismarck taking on Sioux Falls, and boy, those reigning defending champions, oh boy, they're back. Um, Lorenzo Brown's back, you know, oh, yeah. I definitely know that, yeah, I definitely know his name. He is back, and along with the rest of the guys in Bismarck, um, you know, Bismarck just, they just have to play better, you know, it's very simple, you know, you just got to play better out there on the field and everything like that and you'll be able to rack up some victories and stuff like that and it's it's gonna be a very interesting season uh, obviously not every team has opened yet so well you're probably wondering who has not opened yet through the first two weeks tucson has not had a game yet arizona hasn't had a game yet spokane hasn't had a game yet and green bay uh hasn't had a game yet they won't have a game until week three and we'll have, you know, something interesting there for week three. It's going to be, that's going to be a fun week three, let me tell you that. Um, that'll be during March Madness and stuff like that. But I don't really watch the first two rounds of March Madness. I'm not going to lie to you. So, uh, so we'll be sticking right here, baby. We'll be sticking right here. 
this by a full action. So, uh, but that's not the point. That's not the point right now, you know, as far as week two is concerned. We got four games, four very interesting games, uh, throughout the, throughout the week, um, throughout the weekend, excuse me, and I hope y'all are enjoying y'all's spring break if you're a student like I am at the University of North Texas, as we as I have to stress, um, hope you guys that are still at school are enjoying your spring break. I hope you guys that are working, you know, professionally, I hope you guys are having a good vacation. If you even are going on vacation, I know some people that's just like, oh, it's just another week we're working, baby. But uh, the IFL does not sleep, and it's going to be interesting to see what this week entails. Again, there's a lot of stuff about rosters that I don't know about yet. Um, and that's through no fault of my own. <laughs> Again, I'd already discussed this, but I don't really keep up with the IFL that much during the offseason. But that's neither here nor there. But I'm ready for some interesting football. And I know you guys are too. So stick around for more content revolving around the IFL and eventually we'll be get to that point in the NAL because the NAL season um, is coming up in a few weeks as well with the kickoff classic uh, I have no words on that but that's neither here nor there so you guys are the real MVPs if you stuck around um, this long in the video just to hear me ramble about a, a bunch of teams that you probably don't care about or, or rather you do care about it depends it depends on if you care or not <laughs> it, it depends on your fandom if you care or not of which team you're a fan of <laughs> but yeah that's gonna do it everybody um, as far as the other videos this week again I already said there will be some type of March Madness video It'll probably be on Sunday, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it'll probably be on Sunday when, when the brackets are revealed. Um, I'm not going to do that this week, but but yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're just sticking around. You know, it's going to be going to be a fun time. And yeah, um, see you guys in the next video very shortly on Big Boy Sports. We'll see you.